Cardinals Coffee Talk on Arizona's Morning News. Yes, our Cardinals insider, Arizona Sports Tyler Drake, joins us live for now, but he could have to step away at any moment to go catch a baby. His wife is in the last couple of weeks of her pregnancy, so if you hear the microphone hit the floor during this segment and hear a lot of yelling in the background, you'll know what happened, right? Uh, I hope that doesn't happen, well, at least while you're on the air with us. Tyler, and as yeah. far as what's happening with the Cardinals, they host the Detroit Lions this weekend. Two weeks ago, the Lions beat the Rams by six points, the same team the Cards decimated last week by 31 points. So should we take that as a good sign? Yeah, definitely. Uh, even, you know, the week one loss against the Bills, seeing what the Bills are putting on tape, that really gives you some, uh, I guess, some more positive outlook for the Cardinals moving forward, even with that loss. But yeah, winning against the Rams, a team that has really had their number for the last I mean, about the last decade, especially at home. And, yeah, they just gave it to him. All three phases are really solid. Uh, you saw Kyler Murray turn in one of his best games as a pro. You saw Marvin Harrison Jr. really get involved early on and really leave an impact on that game. Uh, and you saw the running game really step up and do its thing. And the defense. you got to give a lot of credit to the defense, especially Dennis Gardeck. Obviously, pass rush was a big, big question mark entering you know, the season. And having three sacks on the day, that was a huge accomplishment for the pass rusher for sure. And speaking of Harrison. Murray looking downfield now. Lobs it deep. Near side. Harrison caught it at the 20. At the 10. Harrison dies for the end zone. He's in. Touchdown. Yeah. Uh, the wide receiver had an incredible performance on Sunday. He scored two touchdowns. Racked up 130 yards on four catches. And... Tyler, he was handsomely rewarded for that. He was named this week's NVP, not MVP, NVP, the Nickelodeon Valuable Player, and he officially got slimed. I mean, these are the days that make all that hard work worth it, right? Yeah, 100%. And, and the cool thing about that whole sliming, too, was the fact that both Marvin and Paris Johnson, a couple of first-round picks, were there doing it together, a couple of former teammates from OSU. So, uh, you can just tell that side of it, just the team bonding part of that and the team camaraderie side of things is really cool to see on display there. But yeah, Marvin Harrison Jr. I mean, I think it's everything everybody expected this rookie to bring to the table right away. I think it's what a lot of people thought he was going to bring to table, bring to the table in week one. Just took a week, but he saved it for a great home opener, gave the, the home fans really something to cheer about. Oh, yeah. And, you know, the big thing with him, though, is he's more worried about the foreign completions that were going towards him from Kyler Murray. So he's really hoping he can clean that up to even have a better game moving forward. So as much as he did well on the field, he was more concerned with the uh, mistakes that he made. So stuff that he really wants cleaned up, and we'll see if that happens in week three. And that's kind of like a team-building thing. I mean, that cam camaraderie off the field, those good times together, they really do uh, help on the field as well. Yes, exactly. You can tell. You can tell this team is very tight-knit. Uh, really playing for one another. And I think that's a big part of what Jonathan Gannon and Monty Austin for it want out of this franchise is just not playing for yourself, being, <clears throat> you know, having yourself over the team. And, and they even have a shirt. I think Mac Wilson Sr., uh, he has a lot of shirts that are passed around the, the locker room that says, you know, team over you on the back. And I think that really gives a great summary of just what this team is as a unit, as a whole unit moving forward, as opposed to, hey, there's a couple playmakers and, that's about it. No, everybody's playing for the guy next to him, and that's a really cool thing to see. Yeah, and and they're playing for the guy on the other side of the ball as well because the defense has really, really stepped it up. I, I was really surprised with how well they did last week. It was amazing. Yeah, and they'll have to have a very good showing this week against Detroit. Detroit is one of those top teams offensively. And, you know, another thing the Cardinals might have to do is they might have to look back in the air again because Detroit is really, really good against the run. So as much as James Conner, I have all the confidence that he can be a bell cow back for them. They might have to look through the air just because of how stingy Detroit has been in recent weeks against the run. So look for that moving forward and maybe look for Greg Dorch having a, a bigger game than normal just because Detroit has had some problems against the slot man and Greg Dorch has definitely got the trust of Kyler Murray. All right. Thanks so much. Our Cardinals insider, Arizona sports, Tyler Drake joining us live. Thanks for watching Arizona's morning news. Click to watch more from KTAR news and hit the button in the middle to subscribe.